In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell a digital product using System.io and set it up in a private members area that people will need to be able to log in after they make a purchase. Now, this particular video is going to be me selling this particular checklist, which is how to sell your System.io PLR course. And this checklist, I am basically selling the Google Doc. So somebody can customize that to their own name, their own website, and turn this Google Doc into their own lead magnet because right now it's obviously branded to me and it has my final call to action and things like that. And I'm giving people this Google Doc and giving them the permission to basically take this creation, customize it a little bit and be able to use that as their own lead magnet that they can actually offer and build their own email list. So I'm going to do this particular digital product as a course, because when you look at the word courses, over here, over here and click on courses. Courses is actually just private members area. It doesn't matter if it's an actual course or it's a digital product or it's a workshop or it's a summit or it's a challenge. It doesn't matter. This is how system I has it set up as private members area. So now I'm going to click on add course. I'm going to call this private label rights by Iran Bukai. Okay. I might change the name. This is going to be this. And then this is going to be this is a private members area for all PLR products created by Haran Bukai that someone can purchase and resell or reuse as their own. Now, this is going to be under the domain name of members.com troops because that's what I have it as. All my courses are under that. Now, realize that I'm using this because all my courses are under that because it's all members, private members area. But I actually have a domain called Iran PLR. And Iran PLR is going to be where I'm going to set up their order form, which I will show that as well. And it's either going to be in this tutorial that you're seeing right now, or it will be on the one after. So let's just do the course area first. So you can see right here, members.com choose. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to choose the font, which is going to be Poppins in my case. Now I can choose the default theme. In my case, I'm just going to make this light blue. Now teacher's photo, obviously I'm going to put my photo here. So here's my photo. I'm going to click on upload. This was created on Canva. I'm going to put the logo as well. Okay. So these are my logos. Here it is course cover. I do not have a course cover yet for this. So this is something I need to create. Okay. So I created something. I might change it, but for right now it's good enough. So I'm going to click on upload. Very basic. Now, now that this is done, I'm not going to touch this yet, but I probably will soon and I'll show you why and how as well. So that will be a totally different tutorial. It definitely won't be covered in this one, but you can subscribe to my channel in case you want to see this as well, uh, because there's a whole different use case for it, which is not relevant right this second. I'm going to give it a name. So this one, I'm going to call this name Iran Private Label Rights Products. Okay, so this course is now set up. I'm going to click on Add Module, and now we're going to call this System IO PLR PDF Lead Magnet Funnel. And then we're going to add a lecture. And here we're going to call this Google Doc template done for you lead magnet. Click on save. Usually what I do is I delete all of this. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to grab this because this is the actual product. Click on share make this anyone with a link, make this view, click on copy. And then I'm going to give this, a, put a button there. Paste this here, open in a new tab. Click here to open the Google doc template. I'm going to delete the subtext, open a new tab, search for the download button, like so, put the text right here. This is the Google Doc with which I created the PDF from. You 
can customize this as you wish. I do recommend you leave the screenshots as this will save you a ton of time. I also recommend you leave the instructions as they are. Things to consider replacing, although optional, are. And let's give them some instructions. Your name, definitely replace that, <laughs> obviously. Um, the link in the footer, so it is your website or landing page. The final call to action, the YouTube video instructions, although you are welcome to keep my videos there. Any other text you want to customize as you see fit. Okay, so that's that. Let's make this section like so. All right, and then I'm going to give them inspiration for how the Google Doc looks like as well. Upload the file, choose the file, and this is the file as well. I'll change the color. This is the actual final PDF I used. Okay, so that's that. I can also add a video to explain to them how to use this as well and so on. So I will do that as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another lecture and then we're gonna call this Google Doc Workshop. It's gonna be a bonus and let's just find the bonus here. So I've got a, a workshop on that. So this one, embed, grab this. And then I'm gonna delete again everything that's here. I did not want to assume you have used Google Docs in the past and know how to use it. Therefore, I wanted to share with you a bonus workshop on how to use Google Docs, which is one of my favorite tools in launching any sort of digital product or new service. I map everything out on Google Docs. Like so, find a video, put it right under, click here, click here, click on custom embed, click here, paste in the URL or the code. I use Searchy for my video hosting, by the way. Like so, section, like so. And that's that, that's the bonus, okay? Well, it's bonus, one bonus at least. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to make this live, activate this, activate this as well. And then here I'm going to bonus. I'm gonna give them a bonus here as well. Is going to be like a discount code. This is what I'm now creating. It's like a upsell basically. In case you didn't know, I co-founded a software company called confettipage.com, which lets you create confetti animation just like the one you see on this page. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. As a thank you for purchasing this PLR product, I wanted to share with you a bonus, which is a $10 discount code, confetti page pro code. Note that confettipage.com is actually 100% free to use. You are not required to buy anything to use it. It simply comes with branding, as you see on the bottom left of this page. If you want that branding removed from your thank you page, then this is where you would purchase a confetti pro code. Price is $39, one time payment. And I prepared a coupon code for you to get $10 off. Use the code and then 
I need to code here. So I'll grab that. I'll need to create it. Enjoy. Okay, and then let's grab a button. This is confetti page. So, make it hard shadow, medium, and now I just got to install the confetti as well. So, this is, go I'm going to use this one. Now let's see what this looks like. So people will come, they'll see a confetti. It's all good. See the different courses as well. There you go, that looks good. That looks good. Let's exit from this page. So now I wanna show you the difference here with this. So you see this is active, which is in green. This is inactive. So you need to hover over here, click on activate, click on confirm. And now this particular product is basically done. So you got the Google Doc template, you got the bonus workshop, you got a bonus that I'm giving as well. And basically you've got uh, a product that I can actually sell and this is a module inside a course. Now that that's all done, then let me just show you what the course actually looks like. So you could see here, this is the module, one and then lesson two and then lesson three really straightforward. And here's the thing about that. This is just one module inside this course. I'm going to add more of these particular modules and I'm going to basically sell those as modules. Let me show you what I mean by that by showing you how to set up the order form. So you can see here the private label rights course. I'm going to go ahead and publish that. I'm going to click on activate. Now this course is live in the next video, which is going to, you're going to see somewhere around here. I'm going to show you how to set up the order form for selling this course as well. So you're going to see that exact process and not only that, how I can actually sell specific modules, which is a really valuable way to create cross sales, upsells and so on. So stick around to the next video and click on it and then go ahead and watch it. I'm going to show you how to now start selling this course that you've just created.